everybody. Happy Tuesday. Just jumping in here for my live that I'm doing today, which I'm doing live every day for the next 30 days, just on some tips and tricks in regards to your career search. And maybe you're just feeling down or frustrated today in the whole career search or just thinking, you know what, is this ever going to work? Is this, you know, is this all that there is? Um, I can tell you now, the people that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis all fight the same battle, so you're not alone. That's the first thing I want you to remember. But today, I'm um, just jumping in here, and I'm going to talk about rejection, okay? So give me a yes in the comments if you are someone that has dealt with rejection in regards to your career search, you know, whether it's that standard seek email that you get back or whether someone calls you after you've had an interview or an email, which it happens a lot more these days via email rather than the good old phone call, which is a real shame. But rejection isn't something that, that many people like. So I just want to give you some tips today on why rejection is actually really key to learning. It sounds really cheesy, but it's true. So I've just got some notes here that I've written down that I want to make sure that you really think about. So first of all, the biggest thing with rejection and why it's learning, it's actually teaching you a really key word. It's called resilience. Resilience is key for anything, okay? If you want to be successful in running a business, if you want to be successful in finding a job, if you want to be successful in losing weight, if you want to be successful in, you know, making new friends, it's all about persistence but most importantly, resilience. You need to be able to get down, knock down, but actually be, being able to get back up. And I know people say this every day and blah, 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 but in regards to your career, you have to be able to be resilient or it's never going to never gonna happen. If you're someone that gets knocked over and you stay down and you're like, oh gosh, you know, whether you're the victim, whether you feel sorry for yourself, um, oh, I can't do it, you know, all of those words, all of that story, the self-talk that you're telling yourself in regards to not being able to do it, actually becomes your reality. So you need to have resilience every day. Every time a rejection comes through, I want you to go, okay, resilience. All right, resilience and get up and think about what Kate's saying. Number two, um, it will actually shape you from the rest. So by having resilience, the people that actually get up, dust yourself off. Yeah, it sucks. No one likes rejection. You know, same with relationships or when you're dating people, you know, when someone says, oh, sorry, I'm not really into you. It's the same thing, but are you going to never date again? The answer is no. You might take some time. Some people might take longer than normal. But if you're someone that will get up and go, right, what can I learn from this? What can I do from this? How can I be better? They are the ones that will have the success. And it's the same with finding a new job. Okay. Rejection is learning. Please take it as learning because every time that you get this rejection, think to yourself, what is it that I can add to my kit bag that's going to help me get to the next step closer to finding this actual job? All right. So resilience shapes you from the rest. Um, ask for feedback. This is the learning element. You know, when you get a rejection, if you've got a contact number, be an investigator, jump on Google, jump on wherever it is to find a number of someone to try and get through and say, hi, who's looking after this job? I just want to know, um, you know, get some feedback. When they get on the phone or, or, or at least try, okay, if you can get them on the phone and say, look, you know, I was really interested in this role. I'm really passionate about it. I just wanted to know, um, you know, what was it that my application was lacking so that I can either communicate myself better in the resume or make sure that I'm applying for the right jobs. Okay, so feedback is critical. Always go the extra mile. You might be one out of 100 that actually call back and guess what? The job might have actually fallen through or someone not accepted the offer and they say, actually, you know what? We'd like to interview you, interview you as well. Or they'll remember your name. So there's always going to be success behind this learning element of rejection, okay? And the last thing I want to say is it's not personal. These people don't know you. So every time you get a rejection, don't think, oh gosh, they don't like me. No one likes me. Um, you know, you have to turn it around and be resilient. These people don't know you from a bar of soap. They've just got a job to do. Um, if you really want to have some success and you want to find out why, then pick up the phone and find out why. Um, now for anyone who knows me in here and you'll get to know me a lot more over these lives, I am a straight shooter. I'm honest. I'm to the point because I want to help. Okay, so I don't say all of this stuff coming from a mean way. I say it in order to help you um, because that's what I'm about. And a lot of the clients that work with me come to me for that reason because they know that I'm going to say or call them out um, and be able to kind of challenge them, which is what you need, right? There's no point someone fluffing you and just saying, oh, yeah, just call and that's it. And it's like, well, no, I'm, I'm going to challenge you mentally and, and how to get this. So 
I hope you've enjoyed that live today. Um, just remember rejection is learning and that we have to be resilient, get the feedback. It's not personal. And, you know, um, it shapes you from the rest, being resilient, if you can get back up. If you're going to be like everyone else, then sure. Roll over, lie down, you know, say, oh, poor me. But you have a choice. You have a choice, okay? So I hope you make the right one. So I'll leave you with that today. Have an awesome Tuesday and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.